Quinn walking into a little left as he came in. Now Grant getting more aggressive as he bodies Gwyn off and rips him with both hands. And he's punching and moving forward as he's punching too, which makes his weight even be more effective. Hands are free working at. They're going ahead, they're going ahead. Nearly full house in Boardwalk Hall. And Graham goes down on a little left inside. Grant nodding to Teddy Atlas in the corner as if to say, I'm okay. Gwynn hits him with another left hook. Time dwindling in the round. And Grant looking in his corner, he should be looking at his opponent. That's too, too much focus and concern about his corner. You should look in your corner to get some instructions, but after that, you get back to work. Grant lands a right hand against the on-rushing Gwynn as the round comes to a close. But a knockdown in round three for Dominic Gwynn. If you start fighting back now, if you survive, would you survive? He's young. He's never been in these situations. You have. He will start to be discouraged. Go ahead, Doc. Look at him. He will start to be discouraged. But listen to me. Michael. Michael, listen to me. The reason that happened, he's fine. The reason that happened on the inside is because you dropped your right hand for the right uppercut and you hit your left hook. You keep keep doing. Give him a deep breath. pressure on him. He's going to fall. You got to keep the pressure on him. Come yes, on, sir. You got this, man. Just, just as it seemed that Gwynn had lost some steam and some confidence, he throws that left hook inside. Tremendous left hook. Short left hook. Kind of mad me a Joe Frazier shot when he caught Ali with only he was a little closer. The harder they fall. All but a blind shot. I'm not even sure Gwynn could see the target. I think no, his vision no, yeah. of the target was blocked. The instructions that Teddy Adams gave to Michael Grant was perfect. He told him just be more assertive, apply yourself a lot more, and you'll win the fight because this guy doesn't have the experience. Harold, how do you have it through three? Attention! 29, 27, two rounds to one. Dominic win. You know, Jim, he, he wins the first round easy. Michael Grant comes out, looks like he's going to really do well in the second round. And then we said the third round knockdown, and here it goes again. Yep. Short fight. And Gwynn getting another shot at Grant as he came off the ropes before going down. Gwynn's hands are just so much faster than Grant's. It's as if Michael can't defend himself and, on the inside. And, and what Gwynn is doing is very smart. He gets very close and where Michael isn't that coordinator and then he comes up with the short punches afterwards. Once Gwynn gets close, all Michael does is start reaching. Now they both go down, but this will be another knockdown for Gwynn as Grant was going down at the end of a punch. Now a wobbly Michael Grant has been down twice in the fourth round, three times in the fight, and still two minutes to go in the round. And he's not, to me, that seriously hurt me. I just, he's just like a big kid. He just doesn't have that strong competitive attitude to be a top-notch athlete. Uh, to, to say that he has a glass chin is almost an insult to glass. <laughs> I mean, he was down twice to Galata. I don't remember how many times to Lewis. There is no three knockdown rule in effect, so it's conceivable that Gwynn could knock Grant to down again here, and Grant might still be allowed to continue in the fight. Conceivable. Doesn't seem likely to me. His physical size is the only reason that he's still in the fight. If he was the same size as Gwynn, the fight would have been over with. No, if he's the same size as Gwynn, he might not have gotten hit by some of those punches. <laughs> Emmanuel. You said he'd been better coordinated. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Larry. <laughs> On the back of Gwen's legs are tattoos that say Southern Disaster. That's what he calls himself. Well, we're in Southern New Jersey. And it's another brewing disaster for Michael Grant. That much is for sure. Punches are just grazing Grant. Sooner or later, he's going to get caught with another one of those shots. And the interesting thing, he's really not that hurt. He just doesn't have the instincts or the skills. 
to hold off Dominic Wynn's faster hands. And big as he is, he can land one punch boss and turn the whole fight around. Oh. See that? Counters with a left hand and catches Gwynn momentarily. And Michael Grant makes it out of round four. He's been down three times in the back. He was down twice in that round. He almost went down in the first round when hit by two big power shots. But he still has a chance to reel this in. Yeah, take a look at it. How do you feel right now? One second. All right. Dominic Gwynn, like most of the new heavyweights we see around, came into this fight looking uh, more like a suspect than a prospect. Uh, perhaps he's more of a prospect uh, than we imagined. I've been very impressed with him shortening up his punches, and he's doing exactly what's necessary to beat Michael Grant. Get in close, turn little short punches where Michael is not coordinated with, and he can't help. In round four, CompuBox counted Gwynn landing 13 of 25 power shots. Grant can't afford to let Gwynn land at that rate. In order to turn this around, and you see how Harold Letterman scored the last round 10-7, Grant has to go back to being first and working behind his jab. But he's not first. No. Most of the time, he's just waiting for Gwynn to attack him. His trainer told him what to do, but I don't think he's capable of doing that. It's just not his nature. He bodies Gwynn off and gets in an uppercut and a little left hook. Gwynn ripping with the left hook. Trying to catch Grant again on the chin. You know, when he, when he beat guys like Cole and Izon and, and Sullivan uh, badly, uh, and then when he came back against Galata, I mean, he showed some stuff there uh, against that level of, of competition. We don't see that anymore. No, I think after the fight with Lennox Blue, it seemed like everything left. Well, there's a theory, just a theory, that once your will and your confidence have been beaten out of you in the ring, you won't get them back. So maybe the, the effort to rehabilitate Michael Grant is a non-starter from the get-go. That's the punch I've been waiting all night to see Grant do. I think he could easily hit Grant even was bigger with just a simple jab. Well, certainly Grant has no head movement. There's no reason not to jab him. No. And, and he better be glad that... The, Dominic Gwynn is not one of those really spirited, aggressive fighters like Joe Frazier was in his prime or something, or Mike Tyson. Because if they'd have been like that, he would have knocked Gwynn out very soon. Gwynn is on, a good fighter, but he's not overly aggressive himself either. And the physical sides of Gwynn is beginning to take his effect on him. You can see him still wearing the guy down, but he doesn't be able to have the ability to put punches right, together that effectively. Gwynn might say to you, hey, Emmanuel, you say I'm not super aggressive, but why should I take any chances at all against a guy whose only shot is to land a big punch against me?